everybody and welcome back to another amazing part of the Bayonetta Let's Play. We got Bob and Eric here with us today. Let's go ahead and do chapter 10 of the 360 version of Bayonetta. Oh, I'm it? so hyped for Bayonetta 2. How about you two? Let's is, it, go. is it chapter 10 or chapter X? <laughs> I feel like this divide is decided by which member of Penny Arcade you are. <laughs> That is a shitty fucking church. Rock floors? Really? <laughs> Look, they were Vintage just... stone. From the Stone Age. <laughs> Very vintage. Everyone enjoy the sound of me pouring a cheer one. They can't not enjoy it at this point. <laughs> They're along for the ride. Ross Perot. <laughs> I've been there before. Whoop. Whoop. Also, everything about the animations were better in uh, uh, Bayonetta 2. Oh yeah, Tools sure. have come a long way Sean? in the last four years. Cereza? The little one? Oh. Mysteries. <laughs> okay, a little bit of shaking is throwing you off after all the shit you pulled with grace and poise. Bullshit. Oh man, it was a lot more shaking than it looked like, I oh. guess. <laughs> He's oh. lying. Say, is that a tentacle? <laughs> I sense only good things will happen. We haven't played Grave Robbers from Outer Space in a while. No, we haven't. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the... Tentacles. Why did it have to be tentacles? You know why it had to be tentacles. <laughs> why? She said standing there wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> they know why. Was it, uh... Toast is an artist. One time we had a conversation about how much it pisses her off when uh, dudes draw female crotches wrong and it looks like they have dicks. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's, there's, you know, some differences that you can accidentally make while drawing. Like, you overestimate how much bulge should naturally be there. I, I, I feel like there should be a clear distinction of dick, not dick. <laughs> that's what you would think, right? But, like, past a certain point, that's not a prominent bone there. Yeah. That is a dick. That is a dick in her <laughs> pants. <laughs> there's a dick in those pants. That's a different kind of prominent bone. Uh... So I, I don't remember uh, Fly Me to the Moon playing in the second one. Is it a different uh, in the demo. Sinatra song? Yeah, it wasn't in the demo, but there's always a chance that they'll pull it oh, out. Oh god, not this again. Yeah! Oh, it's so... Oh. Shut up, baby, you know you like it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, this, 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 like, I can't even make jokes about it without <laughs> retracting them immediately. Uh, <laughs> that torture device is still horrifying. Right. And I miss the good 25 years of my life I had where I didn't know that that was a thing. Oh, yeah? I thought it was just a thing for Bayonetta. Huh. Which, you know, because, you know, that's a fucking weird torture device. One of those things where a quick look on Wikipedia will ruin your life. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, that sounds really painful. I'm sure it's not too bad. That oh, it cripples people. Oh, it's... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Space City. Space City is best city. See it. Oh, a jar. Right. Does it take magic to go into witch time? No, no. Okay, it's just happens. It's just uh, you okay. dodge right. You actually get magic from going into witch time. Fancy. That is fancy. So then, what decides whether or not you can go into witch time? Are there just certain moments when you absolutely can't? Right, certain, okay. certain attacks that you dodge, it won't do it. Like, okay. you, it's only certain attacks, dodging certain kinds of attacks to cause switch time. Gotcha. Did you just land that, land on that pot and crush it with your feet? Maybe one of them, but I punched okay. the other. Look at yeah, feet, I saw though. you punch the second one. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Those should just break things, <laughs> like TVs. Oh, there it's, there's Ooh. so many everywhere. So you've gotten to the point where your magic bar actually has the big circle 
and three small ones. Right, so that means after I do a torture attack, I'll still have a bit left. Because so a torture cool. attack will take a full circle. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Man, it'd be nice if we could get a game like this announced for next gen. Yeah. Damn, Bayonetta 2 is next gen. No, it's not. It's the same generation as Bayonetta 1. <laughs> Weirdo. Yeah, it looks better. What, Bayonetta 2? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you get into a weird territory of, like, whether or not the Wii U is actually stronger than PS3 and 360. Like, PS3, uh, graphically, yes. It just is. Uh, the only reason Naughty Dog games look so good is because they... Magic. They, yeah, they got that Naughty Dog magic <laughs> working on that cell processor. Uh, but the GPU in the PS3 fucking blows. Uh, the 360 GPU versus the Wii U. The Wii U may be, uh, ever so slightly better, but the CPU's pretty, pretty bad. So, okay. you can't do any CPU magic. <laughs> That's the hardest one for me. Yeah. Because I never notice it fast enough to take my hand off and just bring it over to that stick. My right hand, that is. Right, I mean, I don't do that because that's not safe. <laughs> well, you're stuck in that animation regardless. You are, but I'm saying you need to get right back to going full force with the other buttons afterwards. Eh. You know, there's, there's a good animation at the end. It's kind of lengthy. You should have True. enough time to get back. Uh... Yeah, for me, it really is just like, I, I don't notice which input it is fast enough. And then the time to get over <laughs> is my concern, you know? That I'll lose more time than I would gain. Right. Uh, and and I feel like... I can basically do the whole thing without, without yeah. doing that. Yeah, you can. I think I did in the 60 frame per second Bayonetta 2 demo video. Woo! <laughs> 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 And this is the one where you can turn the opposite direction and get a thing, which is okay. what I just did. And that's what you just did? Yep. So let's go get that thing. It's the stack! The thing! Oh, and I'll find. Yep. Two thing. Two thing! Yeah. Broken Moon Pearl! Which I presume is magic. Magic. Capacity up, yep. For as much as I've played this game, I really haven't used just the regular pistols that much. Oh. Feed okay. all the angels before attack. Sorry. I have to wonder if uh, Bayonetta 2 is more or less expensive than one to make. Hmm. I imagine substantially cheaper. Because, you know, there's a lot of things they don't have to spend time uh, developing. Right, they already have. Character designs. Uh, well, I mean. Universe I mean, stuff. Yeah. They save a lot of money on making a sequel just because of that. But at the same time, it is just like a prettier game, so you have to wonder. And again, it's been four years. And that graphics gap isn't so <laughs> absolutely enormous that the cost would go up substantially from that. By substantially, I mean like by a factor of like 1.5 or something. Right, so you can't even touch them with any attacks or else you yeah. get knocked back. Right. What is Wicked Weaves? It's, it's those big hand attacks. Those stompies, those that thing. Oh. Anything that uses your hair as a weapon. Yeah, even God, even sucks. when I'm witch time, I was just checking to make sure. God. God, it sucks. <laughs> but now I have some magic, so. Oh. Nope. There we go. Woo! You only have five hits. Yeah, that's. Pretty, that's actually forgiving for this mode. Yeah? <laughs> Done a lot of three hit once. Woo! <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, uh, Bayonetta demo didn't have, uh, Fly Me to the Moon. It had some weird J-poppy song. Yeah, the, uh... That sort of genre-wise maintained the same sort of feel, I feel. Uh, you know, female vocalist, sort of a love song. Well, it's hard to match the classiness of this song. 
so classy. So classy. It's Frank Sinatra. Yes, it is. Or Ava, if you're a weeaboo. <laughs> Frank Sinatra. Or Ava, if you're a weeaboo and don't yes, know which better. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, you're not classy. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> He just ate a, a hot dog full of cheese, so... <laughs> hey, man. Hey. It was halfway decent. And that sentence is why you're not classy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will be honest, that, that is nowhere near as bad as bologna with cheese in it. Yeah. <laughs> that I is know, the grossest thing. I don't know if I could do that. I feel like I could do that for a podcast. <laughs> uh, did you ever have Mystery Burger for podcast? No. From Dollar General? What? Oh god, I forgot about Mystery Burger! It's just this burger, right? That's a dollar, and it's at the Dollar General in their freezer, and it just looks so weird. I was like, there's no way that's good. I should eat it. <laughs> <laughs> like, my brain does that. Or it's like, man, that video is gonna be terrible. Click! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Because good things aren't interesting. Yes, they are. What's wrong with you? That guy is just sin you. Oh, jeez. Damn! Yeah. We so close. And all down to 10 seconds, too. That was so close. Oh, well, do you guys want me to try it again or just not, move her on? Uh, not really. Okay. We don't need to fill this Let's Play with uh, Alfheim yeah. stuff. These episodes go along already. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. Mostly so we can get this out in a time that is close to Bayonetta 2's release. <laughs> all right. So Bob, you're gonna binge through Bayonetta 2 in like one day, so that way we can start the Lex play like a day or two after it comes out, right? I I would I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I try. <laughs> I love. Oh wow, play that looks pretty awesome. Fun. Kind of, I would think. At the same time, though, you want to enjoy the game, right? So, like, for Bob, I could understand that that would involve not being distracted by the thought of being recorded. Or try and be entertaining for people. Or anything like that, yeah. Yeah. Which, you know, you, like, we, we give a, lo a long way to have an authentic atmosphere and not be that fake-ass motherfucker that I was at the beginning of this, <laughs> ironically. Uh, but even still, there's just something different about, like... Like, us just hanging out and playing a game, and us doing that while recording it. For one, we're sitting on a couch, yeah. which is way more comfortable. Bird? Whatever, we don't need the bird. We can, we can live without the bird. Okay. Bob's learning to compromise in this episode of the Bayonetta Let's Play. Bob's learning to settle. <laughs> Never settle, Bob. You're 27 and single, don't settle. <laughs> Angel Stingrays. Yeah! Oh, Jesus. What in the world? What was he shooting you with? He was with? shooting, like, energy out of his butt. Oh, okay. Like sting Stingrays often do. Yeah. We live in Florida. We we know all about that. Uh-huh. So they don't tell you about Florida. It's all the jet Stingrays. You know, we've been getting a lot of nice, positive comments on our uh, comment sections as of late. Uh, one, one statement, oh. one statement that just hit me in the I never thought of it that way before uh, was some guy being like, you know, I love Bayonetta. It was actually Anger Man, if you guys check the comments. In any case, he was like, I love Bayonetta, and I, I've loved watching your videos for the past few years. And I just like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're now at the point we've been doing this like four years. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing this for a long time. I was still in college. Four college. Years ago. Four years ago, I, was, I, I went off to college. Yes. That is that is exactly how that timed out. <laughs> Something about shooting him with bullets and then he bleeds. <laughs> like, kicking the shit out of him doesn't... Okay, it does. Never mind. Just he bleeds a lot when you shoot him with the bullets. <laughs> so this is that guy's, that boss's bitch ass cousin. Ned. <laughs> I shot a lot of rockets at him. <laughs> Good job. That's how you do it. Oh no. You probably shoot <laughs> oh, a lot of rockets at that too. one. This seems very boss rushy. Are we getting towards the end of this? No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Because Bayonet is a really long game. 
maybe the longest good action game? Huh. Yeah, probably. Unless you count Devil May Cry 4, which cheats. No, I think this is longer than Devil May Cry 4 anyway. Really? Because Devil May Cry 4 is still short, even in doing that ridiculously stupid trick it does. Would you like to know the ridiculously stupid trick, Eric? Sure. Okay, so you're playing as Nero. You fight three or four bosses across several levels. Uh, and then the plot does something dumb, so that way you start playing as Dante. Okay. And then you run those levels backwards. What? And you fight those same bosses. What? It is the most bullshit filler ever. You get nothing out of doing it. Plot-wise, basically nothing happens. I stress the basically because you get one reveal. Oh, this character was that character. I mean, I like Devil May Cry 4. It's just, it's just that was totally bullshit filler. Yeah, it was. I would much rather have just gotten more weapons for Nero, more mechanics for him, instead of just, oh, well, just play as Dante and go through the exact same things. And the weird thing is, like, you play as Dante and you get front-loaded with most of the shit from 3. Like, it's just like, yeah, you're Dante yeah. now and you have all of these amazing abilities. <laughs> Like, well, but none she, of them work quite, the, uh, quite yeah. feel as good as they did in 3. No. And then Singer is just OP and stupid. No, that is awesome. So you mean OP and great. <laughs> yes, that is what he meant. It's like there's no reason to have other moves. You have Stinger. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is great. Huh. Whoa. Check. You've got it. You've got it. Oh, you're just supposed to Almost. run into it. Almost. Almost. Almost! Do it! Oh no! What? What? I should not listen to Dad! <laughs> I, I thought it was turned to the right side. Weird. Well, that was way easier. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> That's apparently an enemy. Oh, one of them wheels. Oh, wow. Shit. Yeah, I guess you haven't seen them, Dan. They, they showed up in an episode you weren't here. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, I just. Uh, fucking. Aria of, Aria of Sorrow flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. So I hear they're putting them uh, good Castlevanias on that there Wii U virtual console. Yeah, pretty crazy. And that buying those three would be cheaper than getting a gameplay player disc. <laughs> That's so crazy to think about. Uh, this is yes, it is. <sighs> Just seeing that, so so crazy. Uh, uh, the word I prefer is nauseating, but crazy works too. I'm burning. Ah! Ah, oh, more you guys. More boat! Yeah, oh, it's just forever. like a halfway through the game or two-thirds through the game boss rush. Were boats a boss? Yeah. No, I, I, no. Well, they were introduced in that way a lot of the bosses are. I them. mean, just, it every, didn't have dialogue. Have every enemy is introduced like that, basically. I don't know, for some reason for me, the boats stuck out more. Probably because they're flesh they boats. Flesh boats, yeah. Do you even need to kill these things? Do you even lift? <laughs> uh, pretty sure I do need to kill these. Oh. Okay. Yeah, in fact, you can see that platform behind them. At very least, he has to get there. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. So that's what the claw does. You should probably heal. Yeah. It's the wrong button. Whew. Giant candy lot of pub. Just explode and get a cloud of blood and chunks. <laughs> did you grenade missile kick it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I wonder what there is more of. Do you think there are more people covering Wii U Smash or 3DS Smash? Like when when, when the Wii U when version comes out. Wii U because I mean just by stint of uh, it's easier to record the Wii U. Yeah, but way fewer people own it. Whereas the 3DS, way more people own it, and there have been sites where you can buy recording devices for years now. I guess. So it, it's this weird, you know, cross-section of like, how many people own that versus how many people actually own a Wii U. Right. Because both, both numbers are probably pretty low. Got all sorts of stuff out here in space. I'm seeing that, whoa. Space! Where do you even go from there? I think that I go the other direction, yeah. Okay. So those boats would have been rocketing me, and that would not have been good.
They really are playing with that space. Like, curving platforms. Yeah. Well, they saw Super Mario Galaxy and they're like, Fuck you, we can do that too! <laughs> we'll just put the shit in space and then it'll be really obvious. The foot guns. But Mario Galaxy was in space. No, he... Then it would be really obvious that they could do that too. Because it's been oh. doing the curved surfaces and gravity's always changing thing throughout this whole game. Right. Just now it's in space. Bullet. And I think those guys actually transform. Yep. There you go. I like the other one watches. You're right. That says a lot about <laughs> He's them. He's dancing. <laughs> he likes it. Hey Ted, how's that going? Oh, it's great. My nuts are being crushed. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, these guys. I'm pretty sure I can't use the wish time against them. Really? Yep. That's weird. Yep. That is really weird to get used to. If I remember correctly, that kind of frustrated me. Oh. I really hope the new one sells well. Uh, I can really doubt it will, but it'd be nice. It's nice to dream. <laughs> yeah, I really doubt it will too, just because it's the Wii U's install base divided by people who care about Bayonetta. Right. Even though it has a 91 on Metacritic, because of all the insane amounts of 10s this game, or that game had been getting. Right. Has been getting. Uh, still. A quick question, and I may regret asking this. Yeah. Like, I know I'll regret asking this. Okay. Is Witch Time similar in any way to Hammer Time? Uh, no Hammer Pants, so no. I know you do break it down. Quite a lot. Mm. Yeah, you can break dance. You can do that in Witch Time. I don't think you can do that in Hammer Time. Mm. Okay, alright. Just thought I'd check. And yes, I do feel shame. You for should. My actions. You should. I would say that joke was fake and gay. Would, one out of ten would not joke again. <laughs> not joke. Yeah, I really, I can probably, yeah. Oh man, I'm so close to be able to afford that. The parry helps with that so much. Because that it really makes up for this not This is a jarring cut. Time. Oh hey, we're yeah, here this, in this place now. Yeah, this you is, weren't even at the end of a pathway. Meanwhile, right. in Cheshire Town. What happened to Mummy? Well, you see, she just went to look for something. That's all. In hell, <laughs> space hell. Placing a poor, helpless child under her spell. If she did anything to this little girl's parents, I swear. <laughs> oh, I see. She's a dumbass. <laughs> Mommy. No, no need to cry. We'll get you to your mom in no time. What's up? Is Cheshire in number two? Yeah, of course. Uh, here, I've got some candy if you what? want. He looks ridiculous. <laughs> what the fuck? The way that popped back. And who's the pedo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just looked at her with that. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> Got a look. I don't know. I don't. It's candy. High. Strawberry, I think. Hey, High fructose corn syrup yummy. flavor. You like some? Is that cat your friend? Yes, he is. His name is Cheshire. He's cute, isn't he? He's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. Listen here, you little <laughs> shit! <laughs> Kids are so dumb. <laughs> what? Sour he apple. He, he likes sour apple. <laughs> I, I don't think I brought this up in the Bayonetta Let's Play, and I, I, I like throwing out random anecdotes in the middle of shit, right? Uh, I found out I don't like... Like, I like Fuji apple. Yeah. I don't like normal, like, uh, delicious red apples, as they're called. Red Delicious? Red Delicious, yeah. I don't. They're, like, soft. Yeah, they're no, too soft. They're soft and they're gray. It's like, if I fucking like wanted that... It's like sand when you yeah, eat them. Yeah, I, I, if I fucking wanted that, I would eat applesauce. And applesauce is fine, but I don't want to bite into a firm fruit and get that. Yeah, you. that's why you get Golden Delicious. Always. I've never gotten Golden Delicious. Oh my god, I it'll just... change your apple life. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, apple. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> it is the best apple. Cool. Golden delicious because truth in advertising. Because fucking, <laughs> like, I, oh, that is cool. Oh, that is so neat. Can you uh, bring the camera higher? 
Uh, not right now. I'm just asking if that is a potentially possible thing. Oh, you mean farther out? No. No, no, no. I just mean angle it downward. Like, how high can you get the camera? That. Okay, that's almost where I'd want it for that. Just because, you know, that makes it super apparent spatially, depth-wise, where you are. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I could that afford it now. That sound effect is so good. Maybe being that those guys gave me enough rings to go to get this. Mm -hmm. Halos, Bob. Halos. Ring los. You bring me enough of these halos, then maybe I can buy a ticket to space. I forgot space. he said that. <laughs> Still good. <laughs> Still good. I probably shouldn't find that funny at this point in the game, but right? I do. It's, it's, it's still no, funny, so, so stupid. God damn it! So close! So close. Blessings be to Shiva. What? Mecha Shiva? Mecha Shiva! Mecha Shiva! Mecha Shiva. Mecha Shiva. Where, where's, where'd you see that? Go Moon? Yeah. Blazes oh. blessed by, braces blessed by Shiva. The knee goddess of destruction. Alright. <gasps> oh my god. Well, Shiva's a goddess of lots of things. In, in addition to, to destruction. We should let's play Crystalis. Have you ever played Crystalis? No. Crystalis is amazing. Is that the one with the girl who turns into a spaceship? No, that's Guardian Legend, and that too is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> For different reasons. I feel like she should turn into, uh, uh... Wow. That's pretty fucking metal. I thought you were, like, friggin' made of taffy there for a moment. <laughs> yeah, like oh, that. Jesus. And I break them up and they turn into water and they fill this, this tub. Oh, yeah, that's... Get that golden liquid is water. Sure. I, I, These are piss angels, okay? <laughs> they are. Okay, they are. Listen here, you pissant. <laughs> uh, how far range, how long range are your r grenades? Can you just be doing that combo from a huge distance away? They go in random directions, so it's really not a good idea. Okay, so, so it's this... best to get right up in there. Yeah. And shoot forever. That's unfortunate, because I feel like we haven't seen enough of that combo. Oh. Oh god, I'm drowning in piss. Where are they? <laughs> I'm drowning in piss. Oh, it's one of those things that's flying around. How are you not drowning? Um, why would she drown? Umbra. <laughs> oh. I mean, all the other crazy... I mean, we're basically in space right now. Okay. Why, why aren't there penumbra witches? That's what I'm asking. There should be some sort of war between the umbra and the penumbra. Okay. Why, why? Am I missing something? No, it's, it's, I don't know. You use a word like Umbra, and you have no, all umbra these... Umbra is dark, but what's penumbra? Penumbra? Yeah, what's the exact meaning of that? Let me look it up. Just to make sure I don't say something stupid on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> Dan, I'm afraid it's too late for that. <laughs> We've been running Giga Boots for four years! <laughs> Help! We said oh, so no. much stupid stuff! <laughs> I didn't mean I mean, anything I ever said! We recorded it all! <laughs> And then put it on the internet. What idiots we were. <laughs> Penumbra. You can do the normal uh, definition, uh, noun, or go with the astro astronomy version. Uh, the shadow cast by the Earth or moon over an area experiencing a partial eclipse. Okay. Ah. So I guess Umbra would be sort of like a moon phase. Sort yep. of. Yes. So thing. Umbra, Penumbra, and Antombra. Oh, okay. Yep. So those are, the, those are the three factions. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, we need some, uh... Some... I was gonna say class warfare, but no. <laughs> we need we need no, some infighting yes, with class the witches. Warfare. So, oh right, you run on water and things right. happen. That was like what you needed to do. There's a thing down there that said square, uh, oh. Check? Oh, okay. Psh. Double jump, kick to the wall, jump again. <laughs> I think. Hey, Eric. What? Turgid or Turgid? Turgid. <laughs> I know. <laughs> What's wrong with just, you? <laughs> just I go to say it, I know it's Turgid, but then I read it, and I read it as Turgid? Turgrid. Tagrid. <laughs> Taggard. <laughs> Tabard. All of these Tabernacle. Are there we go. I don't think we should. Oh, hey, it's her. End of the chapter. End of chapter. Mom! Missed all those things. Oh, Used all it. those things. All three of those battles. Oh, he's so beautiful. <laughs> I mean, average. B? <laughs> Question mark. 
Let's do that angel attack. How many chapters are in this? Do you know? Uh, I want to say 18 or something. It's a long game. It's yeah. a long game. I mean, some are shorter than others, but yeah. Blam! Yeah. So many, so many bullets this time. I guess I picked up two of those bullet pickups. Yeah, so they are just random drops in the levels that you are picking up every time you pick up those bullet casings. Right, I mean, yeah. they're not random, they're in select places. And that's true, yeah. I guess my use of the word random there was about as shitty as people who say things that are obviously not random are random. In the new Alien game, the alien pops out of random spots. Do you mean it randomly selects a spot that it pops out of? Because it doesn't pop out a random spot. Goes to take a dump. <laughs> 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 You know, I'm gonna save- I'm, I'm just gonna get the rings, cause I need to get- I need that- that thing. Yeah, oh, so it's close! so close. God damn it! Join us next episode when we get so closer. <laughs> Please just place her on an angel. <laughs> okay, that would've been so dumb. Oh, there we are, like ten feet after where we were before. Right. The Cardinal Virtue of Justice, that sounds like an awesome boss battle. Join us next time. <laughs>